Hey everybody, it's Mary Cheatham King and I am here with Christina Fulcher. Christina, thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So y'all, really exciting. Christina has recently joined our team. And I know a lot of you folks that are from Carteret County know Christina. She is super involved in everything you can think of. I don't understand how you do it all. But Christina is super involved in our community. And for the eight years leading up to her joining our team, she has been in financial services and the mortgage industry. So I felt like Christina was the perfect person to talk to today. I don't know about you guys, but basically what I'm hearing in the market in general is just that people are kind of standing still and wondering what's going to happen. So Christina, what is your take kind of on interest rates now and how that's impacting the market? Certainly, I think one of the things that we've seen in the last few years are some record low rates. Um, and so because it's been in our face and recent, that feels like the norm, but it's not. That's very abnormal um, and likely something we may never see again under 3%. So sure. really where we're at right now is starting to get back more to the national average over a long period of time, the periodic average. So really you know i'm not worried about it if i was buying which i just did it doesn't scare sure. me to see us getting into the fives because we're, we're reaching more normalcy okay and so when you talk about like a national average if you go back and look at interest rates over time what what is a national average of real estate so I mean, excuse me of mortgage rates of mortgage rates the historical average really is between seven and eight percent here in the united states so okay. we've seen a little bit of everything i mean from you know, the 1980s where we saw it in the upper teens, 18% um, for a very, very long period of time yeah. to um, really sitting in the fours and fives in the 2010s and and leading up to these historic lows. Right. So okay. Now we're just starting to go back to a little bit normal rates and, and what we kind of anticipate being in that five to seven percent range. Okay. And so right now we're sitting, it's the, it's the second week in July or about to start the second week in July. And we're seeing rates that are what just over five, just over five. Yep. Okay, and they've been fluctuating. They've been actually going down some the last few days, enough. right? Kind of fluctuating yep. back and forth. Okay, so what we have established is really that rates are not even really getting close to that that national average of no. seven to eight percent. What what have you heard about what the predictions are for what rates are going to do for the remainder of the year? So you know it is what you just said a prediction so we don't know what really will happen i remember a time when we were like oh we, it won't go past five percent in 2022 that's what they were saying earlier this year and then we quick, quickly saw it hit five percent and so right now what they're saying is somewhere between five and a half six and a half should be about the normal we may see seven um we just don't know i mean we obviously stayed in the lower fives longer than we thought we would okay so in short, I mean, I think what I'm hearing is both whether you're a buyer or a seller, I know times of uncertainty are just hard and I totally understand that. I mean, I think that what we're saying is if you're a buyer, right, interest rates are still low. I mean, they're, I mean, historically speaking, they are still low. You still have a lot of buying power. Right. Um, so it's really, you know, not knowing what's going to happen in the future. It really is a, a smart time to buy from that standpoint, even though it feels yucky because they've just been lower, that they're still... They're still really low, historically speaking, and based on what we think they could do in the future, right? right? Okay, and then if you're a seller, then you know right now, as buyers get more comfortable with the fact that interest rates are gonna go up, we've known this day was coming, right? right? But now that that's actually happening, you know, as buyers get more comfortable, they're starting to come back to the market. I know we're seeing that. We're seeing we are. that. Yeah. As a listing agent, you know, I'm, I'm working with sellers and we're still seeing that there are so many buyers out there looking for properties, but we have, we're, we're in this place where everybody has a little bit of power. Um, you, you're able to kind of think about what you're doing and the purchase that you're making. And it's a really nice place to be for both parties and, and to see a little bit of balance there. So it's not, there's, there's never a bad time to sell or buy in 2022 right now. It's, it's time to do it. That's right. That's right. And one of the great things I think people forget when they think about interest rates, is I think they think that they're committing for forever, you know, and if interest right. rates, if you lock in at an interest rate and then it ends up that they do dip back down to some of those historic lows, then you can just refinance. Right. Certainly. Yeah. So lots of options, I think is the bottom line. And what we're seeing is that things are starting to settle a little bit and people are feeling comfortable and coming back to the market after yes. kind of a, a, a quick hiatus. Right. So it's an Certainly. exciting time. It's a great time to be a buyer or a seller. Yes. And we're here to answer any specific questions that you may have. So Christina, just excited to work with you. And I'm so glad that Same. you're here. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you for bringing your expertise to our team. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining us. Bye.